Hi everyone, Anna here from The She Approach and I'm making this quick video just to celebrate Pinterest month, right? So I'm making April Pinterest month in my emails and you've received a lot of emails from me about Pinterest. I talked about how you can make money with Pinterest, about some best practices that Pinterest itself um, tells their users to try to grow their accounts. And on my Instagram stories, if you've been following me, I put it in the highlights. Uh, I did a little story the other days about the process I go through for my each and every blog post and how I promote them on Pinterest. And it's a process that takes me approximately five minutes. And that is because I create my templates beforehand. So on Pinterest, when you promote your blog, the most important thing is the actual pins you use. So the pin graphics. I gave a short preview of the fact that I use Canva to create my graphics and Canva is free to use. Um, I did upgrade my account to be able to upload my own fonts as you can see here. Um, there are a few fonts that I get from creative markets that I really love and I wanted the chance to be able to use uh, custom fonts and that's only available in Canva if you purchase their upgrade. But otherwise Canva is completely free to use and they have a lot of fonts that you can use anyways. So back to what I was saying, because I want this to be quite a short video, uh, but I hope you guys can get something out of it. I did the Instagram stories about how I promote my pins and I got more questions about how I create my templates in the first place. So what a template is, um, on Canva especially, is just a base graphic that I use and I simply copy this. And I just go around and change the text in here to fit another blog post that I just put up, for example. Sometimes I change the background image or other little tweaks like that, but because I only have to change so little things, then it takes me about one to two minutes for each graphic that I make. And that saves me a lot of time. And Canva does have some Pinterest graphics that you can use, but because they're on Canva and they're free, a lot of people are using them. So the questions that I've been getting were about how you can create your own templates that are original and that are relevant to your brand. So they have their real brand colors in there. Um, like this pin for example. And I actually created this template tonight in under five minutes while I was watching a TV show in the background. And I thought this is a perfect occasion to show you guys quickly just the process I go through to create a new pin template because I am not a designer. I have no other graphic knowledge than what I've learned from blogging. And yet I've received really kind words about my pin templates. And I'm quite proud of them myself, so I thought I would show you guys just a quick process of what I go through and how I create them. And hopefully, if you've been using Canva, you'll learn a few new tricks, or if you haven't, you'll just see how simple it is. So to create anything in the first place, you will need to create a Canva account. You can go ahead and click on create a design and choose their Pinterest graphic. So you want an image that's obviously taller than it is wider because it's going to show up nicer in Pinterest. Just to give you an example, this is the widest you can get in Pinterest. So they're not giving you any more space to make it wider, but I do offer you the opportunity to make it taller. So it will take up more space. Anyways, once you click on the Pinterest graphic, uh, something like this will pop up. It will obviously be blank and I'm going to start from scratch to design the same exact thing just to show you guys how to do it. But if you guys are like me and you have no graphic knowledge, then starting from scratch can be so challenging and I know this. And what I do is I actually go on Pinterest and search for inspiration. So I don't copy everything from another pin, but I just look on Pinterest, especially pins in my niche, but not necessarily. And I go and I see, oh, what do I like about this pen? Does this pen stand out? Does this pen, could I transform this into something that would fit my brand? And then I try to recreate it on Canva, but add my own spin to it as well. But it's a great starting place if, as I said, you're not a graphic designer and you have no idea where to start. Because there are a lot of times where I try to start from scratch and I had kind of this vision in mind about a pen. But then it turned out to be like so simple. Um, and that's because I just don't have like the eye of a designer. But when I look on Pinterest and I can think of elements that I wouldn't have thought of before and it really helps me. So for the pin that I just showed you, I started from this idea, right? So this pin, I thought it's quite easy to read. It stands out um, and I don't have a lot of pin graphics that have like an image in the background. 
most of them are like very faded out so I wanted to try to do something similar to this one so I'm gonna quickly show you my process for how I transformed this into this all right so I just added a new blank page on here and the first thing that I do is I go to layouts and I select background image you can reposition this as you want to make it smaller or bigger I'm just gonna make it as wide as my pen and then I'm gonna go to uploads and I'm just gonna select one of the photos I uploaded in the past as a background image and as you can see I regularly try to go in and upload a few stock photos that I regularly use on my blog um, just to have them there so I can easily use them whenever I want to create a new pen but you can also search through canvas images and they have a lot of free images that you can use as well uh, but I just because I have a stock photo subscription then I try to use those photos instead so for that I just use this picture which you'll see often on my website if you double click on it you can reposition it and what I like to do with background images is this is quite light this kind of looks good but if it was any darker then I would just go to here transparency and just decrease the transparency just a little bit so my text pops out so now that we have the background image um, I usually confer with the pen I'm trying to get inspiration from and the idea of this is that it's a white box and it has text so the text stands out because of the white box which I really love I'm gonna go back to my pen go to elements shapes and I just select the first box here I'm gonna make sure this is white sometimes that happens and adjust it a little bit so when I was creating the pin earlier as you saw from the finished template I figured this would be a bit too simple for me just a little box here in such a tall image um, and something that I've been trying to do recently is really brand my um, brand my pins so then I thought to myself why can't I add my logo like somewhere here at the top so it doesn't take away from the title but it still makes my brand stand out so I just uploaded a transparent uh, PNG file of my logo and I just made it small and I moved it there so I just uploaded this I'm just gonna move it somewhere there you see these little lines that appear when you move this um, they are making sure that your elements are centered which I love because I don't have an eye even for that and after that I added the text right because the text always changes what I'm interested in when I'm doing the templates is just to see um, the combination of fonts that I use and see if they match up so I usually like to use at least two fonts because they draw attention to certain words so if you go to text and then I just click here usually and I add those and you can obviously change this so I changed it to something like how to create pin templates then you can drag these around so they match your box um, and what I did earlier was actually selected a different font I thought this looked a bit cleaner I'm just gonna increase the font size and then I'm gonna add another font uh, and change that to in Canva increase the font size a bit and there you have it you can always move these around and space them out um, to make sure they look pretty um, and the final thing I did for this is to add my URL at the bottom which is such an important thing to do because I have a lot of my pins stolen especially the ones about making money blogging because um, spammers just go in search something on Pinterest they download your image and upload it with their links but because people recognize my URL they got in touch with me and they said hey these people are using your pins and unless you kind of specify on the actual pin where the pin is gonna lead then people won't really be able to tell if your pin is stolen or not and it's just an important part of getting your uh, blog name and your brand name out there so what I did for this is I just created a little box so elements again choosing a little box making this a bit smaller 
trying to make it kind of the same size as the last one. Um, and I have my brand color saved here um, and I just select that one and I'll go ahead and add my URL and I'm going to make everything uppercase with this button. Make it a slightly bigger font. And there you have it, uh, like a pen template that took me less than five minutes to make. Uh, that's clean, that's relevant to my brand, that I can easily duplicate um, and use for any other blog post that I'll write because it's that easy. Like literally all I have to do now to do the same thing, instead of starting from scratch again, I copy this page, scroll down and I just change the text. And obviously for some things you'll need to make little adjustments, so if the text is smaller or the like the sentences are longer you can kind of you know tweak every pin just a bit to make sure it looks all right canva is so easy to use everything is drag and drop they show you little guidelines to make sure that everything is centered the right way uh, and for specific things you can even group them so if i want to move all this for example the little box with the text and the logo instead of having to do it all individually all i have to do is select the first then cl click shift when selecting the others and click on group. And what that does now is this is grouped and you can easily move it up and down as a whole instead of having to do it individually. At any point you can go ahead and click ungroup if you want to do tweaks to the individual elements. But this is usually what I do to create my pen templates with a little bit of inspiration from Pinterest and uh, a little bit of experience in Canva. I really hope this video was helpful and if you do decide to go ahead and try to create some pins of your own today then go ahead and hit reply and send me the finished template because I would honestly love to see it.